Welcome to Same Spit, Different Face TV, where my opinions is facts, and if you don't like my opinions, you can start your own podcast, and it's free, so don't forget to spit on the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification. Lil Baby was arrested for illegal weapon without a permit. Lil Baby landed behind bars Monday in Vegas because he got busted for possession of an illegal weapon. The rapper, Dominique Jones, was arrested Monday right for carrying a concealed weapon without a permit, a felony, and hauled off to the Clerk County Detention Center where he was held on a $5,000 bond. The Las Vegas Metropolitan Police have yet to release details about the alleged crime, but we'll update you once we get more now um little baby is out of town i don't understand why he don't have security he's a mega star now he could be at this point in his career i know his career has kind of appeared to be on a uh, decline so he could be at that part at the career where he still got the bag but he feel like i don't want to spend all that money on security plus he might feel like man i'm in vegas Maybe he got some of his homies with him, or maybe he just out there with his girl. Now, if he out there with his girl, um, I do understand him wanting to protect himself. Even if he not with his girl, I do understand him wanting to protect himself. But I still feel like it's a situation where um, he could have just hired security if he was like with his girl. When you go out of town, man, one thing you have to understand is that um, all of these areas may seem sweet. They may seem nice, but it's gangsters in every city you go through. It's robbers in every city you go through. Um, it's killers in every city you go through. Now you may be from some of those bigger cities, um, the Chicago's, the LA's, the New York's where, you know, you may come to some of these smaller cities and it's kind of a walk in the park because of the treachery you used to going through and you used to seeing, but you still got to be on point, especially when you a million dollar guy like baby and you have jury on. But my personal perspective of him is that, you know, he should have been in a position where he should have had on um, some security. He should have had some security with him. But anyway, I don't think much going to happen for this. When you look at it, he's on the West Coast. When you look at it, his bail was only $5,000. As long as ain't no bodies on that gun, as um, long as he don't have a switch on it and the feds pick it up, maybe if it's a 30, it's still cool, but that switch turned it into a machine gun. But as long as ain't no switch on it, I believe he'll be fine. I believe that he'll be able to work out a deal where he'll plead to a lesser charge. He'll play some restitution. Um, maybe he'll even have to do donate something to the city. He got to do something in order to make these things right. But I feel like with only a $5,000 bond, he'll walk away from this. So maybe he had like a little nine with a little 16 shots in there. Maybe he had a little 380, some with like 12, 10 shots in there. Um, so I do fully expect him to walk away from this, not without having to pay a fine, not without possibly pleading to a lesser charge, maybe even getting some type of probation. But the one thing about Lil Baby is he's somebody who don't get on the internet and crash out. You never hear him in the middle of nothing. Um, you never hear him beefing with people. You never hear about his street ties and his street business. He don't uh, get too specific in his music. So for somebody like him to get some type of probation, I know it may be a hassle, but for somebody like him to get a probation, it, it would be pretty easy, in my opinion. Only thing you got to worry about once you get on probation is your lady, because your lady, uh, knowing that you on probation or the women that you're dealing with, knowing that you're on probation, they'll try to leverage that over you if you make them mad, if you make them upset, if they do something, they'll do something knowing that you can't really handle it how you normally would. Well, they'll provoke you knowing that if you do something out of character, all they got to do is call the police and you're going to get that probation violation. But I mean, as I said, man, it's really nothing to see here. Just got a little pocket rocket on them. And we also look at this situation and, you know, we have the second right amendment. So obviously I understand it's an illegal firearm, but he wasn't going out to rob nobody. He wasn't riding around his city looking for ops. He didn't have nobody in the car with him trying to do no drive by. He probably, I believe was just trying to protect himself. Once again, this is fair play 2333 of same spit, different face updates. Well, my opinion is facts, and if you don't like my opinions, you can start your own podcast. And if you do like my opinions, you can click the subscribe button and follow me on all platforms. Check out my original Chicago hood movie in the end screen, No Time to Play Fair.